Well, hello everybody, it's Juliane, and I hope you're all enjoying your Saturday night. It's August the 9th, or it was August the 9th, it's uh, shortly past midnight here in Vienna. And I was listening to my old 80s music tonight, so I got a bit carried away, I didn't make it on Saturday. I've been listening to all this April wine stuff and hollow notes, that, whom you probably can hear in the background. And well, now that we have finished Saturday, that means that uh, we're in the second week of my video blog and so this is kind of an opportunity to have a look back uh, what I was planning to do and what I actually did. And I thank you all for the, the nice reception to, to my videos and I hope you don't miss my selfie photographs too much because they were decreasing dramatically now that I'm doing this video stuff but I think that it was way too much because I'm not uh, such a self-centered person as it might appear uh, from the number of photographs that I've posted that it was just I was so carried away about uh, watching myself uh, progress and uh, well I think I'm, I became self-aware uh, but not self-centered uh, and I guess that showed. So uh, well the purpose of this video blog was first of all uh, to get in touch with you to let you know who I am and I think that worked pretty well but on the other hand it's also an opportunity for me uh, to keep track of the progress of my transition so if I want to look back later on I can, I can watch my progress and of course it's a matter of, of self-assessment and I've gone through all the video messages now and I'm happy with most of it uh, but I'm, what I'm not so happy with is the way I used my voice uh, because uh, I'm a musician and uh, I should technically uh, or I, I do know uh, uh, what it's all about so I know that uh, there's a range of uh, only three notes between the average male voice and the average female voice uh, I know that it's a lot about uh, the way you express yourself the way you move the, the way uh, your mimic uh, works and I think I, I did pretty good with that but I also being a musician I should know about the breast register the uh, head register and falsetto and I didn't do pretty well with that so if you had the impression that this is a girl speaking to you that it might have been uh, the bodily expression but it wasn't the voice when I close my eyes and I, and I listen to what I've been telling you it's always been the same I started with a rather uh, head registered voice uh, saying hello to you and once I got into the topic uh, I got carried away and then they, I, I changed to the breast register because I just didn't care anymore. So this is something I should uh, work on and I'm gonna watch uh, on the next videos. So uh, you see I, I try to, to use the, the head register now really uh, more purposely. And uh, if you're interested in, in uh, voice lessons. There, there are some very good uh, tutorials on, on YouTube by some girls who already uh, developed an extremely feminine voice. Uh, most of them are very technical and I think that the best one for me uh, was by Nikki V. She's an amazing girl. Anyway, she has an amazing story and she's progressing so fast. You should watch all her videos. Uh, but she she had some uh, some hints that you don't get from the others, like uh, how do you stay in, in your head register and it, it's just uh, easy. So she she always says you you just try to to find your uh, personal tone in the head register and then you just breathe out like ha ah! and this is the this is then the the tone that you start talking with and I tried this. Uh, on the, when, when I was in the shower this morning and it seemed to work uh, so I hope I sound better and, and more feminine now in this video than I did in the ones before uh, and actually uh, 
I'm addressing you in English not only because I think I have like 1200 uh, friends on, on Facebook and uh, there might be like 150 or 200 uh, speaking my na native language German so of course it's more international but I find it much easier uh, to concentrate on my voice when I'm, t when I'm speaking in a foreign language uh, because uh, if, you, if you get too comfortable with yourself in your native language then you always uh, tend to uh, not pay attention on how you uh, speak but it's more like uh, what you're saying and that was the problem even when I was speaking in English when I got too much involved in the topic then I just didn't care anymore uh, about the way I was speaking uh, it was always the things I was speaking about and uh, I think I have a lot to say so I just have to get the balance to still uh, be aware of uh, the impression that I give and the things that I say uh, well uh, I think the most important uh, message last week the one that, that got the most uh, hits on, on YouTube too was the one about gender identity and uh, sexual orientation and I got a bit carried away and if you interested in this topic and if you agree with my opinion then I, I recommend you you buy this book it's uh, called Whipping Girl by Julia Serrano and it's just uh, like the, the standard book uh, for people like me who embrace their own femininity and uh, still uh, stand for the rights and try to stand for the rights so she has a lot of fights with the uh, uh, feminist uh, movements because they don't accept her as an as a post-op transsexual they still don't accept her as a woman and she has a lot of fights you can uh, you can watch this on, on her blogs on, on the internet and she's also on Facebook Julia Zerano with one R I think uh, yes Julia Zerano so you, you may find her on Facebook and she's a very clever, very interesting person, a very good journalist and I can only recommend to, to, show, uh, to, to look, have a look at her pages as well as Nikki V uh, in, in, if it comes to, to voice development. So Nikki V, she, she's got a, a YouTube site, so she's spelled N-I-K-I-V like Venus. Oh, no, N-I-C-K-I-V uh, and you should find her on YouTube and there are links to other blogs she, I think she's on Twitter and on, on another platform too and just don't, don't miss to see her she's really amazing and she has an amazing story I won't tell anything just go and see it for yourselves so uh, I think that's enough for today uh, have one more look at my pretty summer dress. It was a nice summer evening tonight. It didn't look like it in the late afternoon, but it was a real nice warm evening, like we had last night at the, the Heaven Clubbing, where we could stay outside till I left at five in the morning. It was really great. We're not so used to this in, in Vienna, but uh, and we don't have a great summer right now, but there were two nice summer days now, and. Uh, well, I have to work too, also on Sunday this time, because I couldn't finish my work on, on Friday. So tomorrow won't be such nice weather, I think, but this is better for me, so I can concentrate on, on my work and, and get it done. So that's the reason why I should go to bed. I, I know I should and I won't, it's always the same, because I just want to enjoy being me, being myself and it always takes like two, uh, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning but anyway I'll try to uh, go to bed earlier today and well stay pretty my pretty ones and enjoy your Saturday or your Sunday uh, depends on who you are and keep checking back I'll come to you again tomorrow and for now I wish you a very good night bye